What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and today I'll be showing you how you can set up your own Minecraft 1.15 server. Basically, you'll be downloading and setting up the server on your own computer and port forwarding it and I'll be showing you all of that inside of this tutorial here. If there's any more information I need to add, it'll be in the comments and the description down below as well as links to everything that I'll be showing you. So first of all, you'll need to head across to the Minecraft website linked in the description down below. Head across to the first link in the description down below to the download of the Minecraft Java Edition server. Once you're on this page, all you need to do is click where it says download Minecraft server 1.15.jar, simply click that and run it with the following command. Now I'll be explaining everything here. So of course, because we're downloading the Minecraft Java server, we assume that you already have a Java installed. If you don't have the JRE installed, it'll be linked down below. You'll be taken to a page like this. Simply just hit accept license agreement. If you have Windows 64, click this download link over here. And if you have Windows 32, click the one over here. Assuming that you already have Java installed, we'll just hit keep because Chrome is saying it may be harmful. We'll click the arrow and we'll go show in folder. Then inside of your downloads folder, you'll have the server.jar like this. I'll be adding it to a folder on my desktop just for ease of access. I'll call it Minecraft server. And I'll simply drag and drop the jar into that folder. Next up, we'll need to make a new text file. So right click, new text document, and we'll control A to select everything. We'll call it start.bat. Hit enter, hit yes. And if you don't see the icon change, simply head up to the top, go to view, and make sure file name extensions is ticked. You need to remove the .txt and name it just .bat, otherwise it won't work. Then we'll right click and we'll either hit edit to open it with Notepad, but if you have a better program installed like Notepad++, you should rather open it in that. Now all we need to do is simply copy this line off of the download website and paste it into our newly created start.bat as such. Then we'll rename the Minecraft server.jar to match the server.jar we have over here because it's simply named server.jar, all we need to do is change this part to server. So it says hyphen jar, server.jar, no GUI. Next up, before we go ahead and save it, you'll need to find out how much RAM you have on your PC if you'd like the best server performance. So I'll right click my start bar, go to task manager, head across to the performance tab, and then memory. You should see in the very top right how much RAM you have and how much you have available will be shown down here. Available 48.1 gigabytes. Of course, you may have much less than this. However, you should give a little bit more than one gig to your server if you want good performance. So you can either multiply this 1024M, which is one gigabyte, by however many gigs you want to give it. So if you want to give it two gigs, you can enter 2048M, four gigs would be 4096M, or of course you can take out all of those numbers plus the M and simply enter two capital G, meaning that we're giving it two gigabytes. You only need to change XMX, which is the maximum amount of RAM that it can use. You can leave XMS, which is the starting amount, where it is. I'm going to give it 4G, 4 gigabytes of RAM to work on. Then I'll hold Control and hit S to save, and I can go ahead and close this window. Then all we need to do is simply double click on start.bat, and you'll see a window pop up like this. It will shortly disappear, and you'll see a bunch of new files. Let's simply double click on eula.txt, and the very last line over here will change false to true. true. Hit Control S to save, and we can close it. Opening up server.properties, you can change some information about the server. So here you can change things like disabling the nether, forcing a game mode like creative or survival, but usually you'll leave everything here as default, unless you want to change the difficulty from easy to something like hard, but I'll leave it at easy. Spawn monsters, you can disable PvP, change it to hardcore, enable command blocks by changing false to true, Change the max players for the server. Usually you can leave it at 20, unless you want more people to join. Then down here you have MOTD, which is shown right under the server name when people add it to their list. So I'll call it Troubleshoot Server. Then if you're running more than one Minecraft server from your PC, you should change the server port to be something different from 25565. However, if you're only running one server, you can leave it as is. Everything else in here is fine. We'll simply hold control, hit S to save once again, and we'll close this. Then all you need to do is run start.bat once again, and the server should then generate the world and start up. Once you wait for this to run through, you should be able to connect to your own Minecraft server on your own PC. However, nobody else will be able to connect to it. Why is that? Well, that's because we haven't port forwarded and we haven't allowed it through our firewall. So assuming that your antivirus doesn't have a firewall or you don't have an antivirus, 
You'll simply hit start, type in firewall and go down to Windows Defender Firewall. Then we'll go to advanced settings and inside of here we'll go to inbound rules. Now of course if your antivirus has a firewall or you have firewall software, you'll have to do this inside of their tool. I'll simply make sure I have inbound rules selected, hit new rule, port, next, we'll leave it as TCP. And down here where it says specific local ports, we'll type in 25565. We'll go ahead and copy this with control C just to make this a little bit easier. Next, allow, next, next, and we'll name it MC for Minecraft. You can name this whatever you want. Finish, new rule, port, next, we'll paste in 25565, and we'll make sure to select UDP. Next, allow, next, next, and we'll name it MC again. Finish, and then we'll click on outbound rules over here. New rule, port, next, TCP, 25565, next, allow, next, next, MC. Finish, new rule, port, next, UDP, 25565, next, allow, next, next, name it MC again, and finish. We've now successfully allowed it through our firewall and we can close these windows. Now all that's left to do for your friends to join is for you to port forward 25565 to your computer. Of course, everyone's routers are different and you'll need to look up a tutorial for your specific one. I've created a very simple web page that will demonstrate exactly what you need to do. You need to find your way across the port forwarding tab somehow. Under external port, you'll be entering 25565. 25565 if it says from and to, otherwise you'll just be entering 25565. Internal port will be the same, 25565 to the same number, and under protocol we'll make sure TCP slash UDP is selected. Then where it says local IP, or whatever it says, you'll usually have to enter the IP of your computer in your local network. So to figure that out, hold start and press R, type in CMD, hit enter, and then type in IP config. Enter again and look for the way that you're connected to the internet. I'm connected via a cable, so I'll look for Ethernet adapter. Of course, if you're on wireless, you'll be looking for Wi Fi. So my computer's IP address is 192.168.1.20. So I'll simply remember that, close out a CMD, and where it says local IP, I'll either fill in all of it or I'll just enter the last few digits, which it's asking for here. Then if it asks you to enable it, just make sure that it's ticked. Hit add new and you're done. You've now successfully port forwarded the Minecraft server from your router to your local PC. Now all that's left to do is for you to head across to Google and type in what is my IP, hit enter, and you'll usually see it up here. However, you may have to visit one of the links below if it doesn't show that little block and you'll find your IP somewhere nice and big. From here, if you'd like your friends to join, all you need to do is send them this number and then they'll add it to their server lists. I'll show you that in a second. Assuming that this is your external IP that you found by Googling, if you have more than one server running, you'll add a colon followed by the server port that we have inside of server.properties. However, if you only have one server, you can either leave it as 25565, so your external IP colon 25565, or you can just send your external IP. So let's go ahead and start up Minecraft, making sure that we have the latest snapshot 1.15 selected. I'll hit play and the game will start up. From here, I'll go to multiplayer and I'll hit add server. You can name it whatever you want. And inside of server address, if you're playing the game on the same computer as your server, you'll type in either local host as such, or you'll type in 127.0.0.1. If you're connecting from another computer connected to the same router, you'll be typing in your local IP address, which we found from command prompt earlier. That was 192.168.1.20 for me. And if you're someone else, like a friend trying to connect to your server, you'll be connecting using the external IP we found on Google earlier. So because I'm running this on the same computer as my server, I'll type in local host. Then I'll hit done and the server will be added. After a couple of seconds, you'll see the MOTD that we selected earlier over here and the number of players. Let's simply just click it and join the server. Watching the server on the left hand side, you can see that I've successfully joined the server and I'm currently in game. From here, you can do the normal things like giving yourself OP. So I'll just simply click across to the console, OP space TCNO. And as you can see in game, made Techno a server operator. From here, I can do slash game mode and we are now flying, we're in creative mode. So there we have it, we have a server that our friends can go ahead and join quite easily if they'd like. That's basically it. 
And the last thing I need to get to before we go ahead and end off this video is once you decide to close your server, do not close it using the X up here. What you need to do is type in save hyphen all and hit enter. Then it will save the game and it says saved the game. Then we'll type in SCOP stop and we'll hit enter. The server will then completely close. The next time you want your friends to join, simply open up the folder and run start.bat once again. My name is Mean Tech Number here for Troubleshoot. I hope you and your friends have fun playing Minecraft 1.15 and hosting your own vanilla server. If you'd like more tutorials, make sure to comment them down below and I'll get to them when I can. I'll see you all next time. Ciao.